different approach to synthesis called a step synthesizer. The circuitry is digital and the design is based on analog synthesis. These controls represent the waveform. This is the basic ramp wave. For the track we just heard, the waveform was set with a higher frequency square wave component, two octaves up. A second detuned voice at the same frequency is added by pressing the voicing push button and a key twice, then following the easy prompts to detune one of the voices. In addition to this uniquely flexible tone control, the envelope and filter contour curves are also represented by the controls. That same pattern as an envelope sounds like this. Instead of the usual attack, decay, sustain, release curve, there is a significant increase in the variability possible. The last control is like the sustain control in Analog's ADSR. The pattern may complete after the key is released. Or repeat to any step as long as the key is held. The length of time from one step to the next may be set individually. If you want, you can key in a rhythm and the values will be set automatically. When the controls describe the filter contour curve in analog, and the note reaches the sustain step, you hear the effect the low pass filter has. The LED readouts show one figure values of all of the controls. Full one and 256 resolution is allowed by the edit section of the control panel. To change, say, the second value of the envelope, press envelope division, then the control number two, then turn the edit control to adjust the value. When you're programming, this will rarely be necessary. All the controls may be set directly. If you want to change the values to all the same, simply move any two adjacent controls together or move the center two for both halves.